on the cronies, President Trump was right all along. Liberals still cry about a non-existent Trump, Russia scandal, while helpfully disregarding the wrongdoings of our nation's past president. The way that Barack Obama violated the Constitution and around 12 different laws while in office is no longer up for question. It's quite recently hard actualities with a pile of evidence to help them. What's more, when Donald Trump started his keep running toward the White House, everybody knew the Democrats, headed by Obama, obviously, would successfully remain in his direction. This incorporates election fraud, which has completely exploded for the current year because of Trump's internal investigation that has officially demonstrated Democrats drove a huge number of illegals to the surveys. In any case, even before that, we heard whispers of Obama and his associates keeping an eye on Trump and his progress individuals. Presently, we have more proof to help this hypothesis. Fox News an Obama official made hundreds of unmasking requests during the last year of the previous administration, according to a letter from a top Republican who raised new concerns that officials sought the identities of Trump associates in intelligence reports for inappropriate purposes. Unmasking refers to the formal request to identify the Americans in an intelligence document. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, RCA, has blamed Obama authorities for burrowing around for the names of Trump's transition team, and no less than one authority made hundreds of solicitations in this vein. Nunes said Democrats had zero justification for doing this and three of the nation's greatest big cheeses give off an impression of being included. Previous CIA Chief John Brennan, previous National Security Advisor Susan Rice, and previous UN Envoy Samantha Power. The last has all the earmarks of being at the focal point of Nunes' accusations. Essentially, these insiders endeavored to keep an eye on Trump's team by looking for information within intelligence reports and truly, there was no other explanation to jump into those reports, as per Nunes. Moreover, it's attainable that such data could be leaked to the press, yet another enormous issue the White House has had for the current year. What's more? Who is in charge of the majority of this? Believe it or not, the Democratic National Party, whose best individuals can maintain a strategic distance from features of flawed or even criminal conduct. When are these individuals going to begin paying for their violations? All the more critically, when will a greater amount of America realize they've been lied to and controlled for over 10 years? What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. HT Fox News Developing Story Look what U.S. ally just admitted they've been spying on the White House for years, this is terrible. All the discussion, fake news, and build-up around Russian spying and hacking has clouded one vital thing, once, in a while. Your genuine foes are covered up on display. Furthermore, nobody presumed this nation would be a foe of the U.S. We should talk spying, each nation does it, and each nation lies about it. It's a given that Russia is keeping an eye on the West and that we are keeping an eye on her. Yet, keeping an eye on partners isn't the same. It's exorbitant, and it can prompt colossal PR issues. Which is additionally expensive. There's a shot you'll be cut off from the other nations in sight organize, which is additionally exorbitant, better to have others spying for you than yourself. It's a ponder, at that point, that a standout amongst the most monetarily splendid nations on the planet is caught up with keeping an eye on the US, its partner, Germany makes them disclose to do. Via Conservative Tribune What is perhaps even more troubling, than Russian hacking? are new reports that Germany, an ally of the United States, has allegedly spied on the White House for many years. According to an exclusive report from Der Spiegel, German publication was shown to prove that between 1998 and 2006 German intelligence agency BND spied on hundreds of targets in the United States, ranging from universities to the White House. If this report is true, 
it is highly unlikely that this spying was an accident since it spanned a large part of the federal government. Presently, how about we be blunt it is highly unlikely this was a mishap. Keeping an eye on this scale essentially doesn't occur unless the administration favors it. It likewise demonstrates a touch of something about how liberal the majority of Europe is getting to be. Check the dates, Germany wasn't keeping an eye on the US when Obama was president. It was all W. Bush. Which is to state nothing of the bad faith of Angela Merkel herself, who put on a show to be profoundly outraged when Trump proposed that both he and Merkel were being spied upon. Of course, Trump was correct. We simply didn't know how right he was. After all, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel is very famous for her line spying among friends, that's not done, after it was revealed that the National Security Agency was spying on her. European liberal pomposity, obviously, is appeared to be the deceptive heap of poop that it is. It shouldn't any ask why the vast majority of us just confide in Trump. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. HT Conservative Tribune Game Changing Democrats' summer vacation plans are ruined, look what Republicans are about to cancel. President Trump's promise to make America great again requires diligent work. He can't do it without anyone else's help, he needs the help of each American and each official in Congress. Numerous Republicans need to enable him to satisfy his promises. Be that as it may, liberals are pushing back, declining to collaborate, regardless of the possibility that it implies we endure. What's more, now the Republicans' most recent intent to complete things is doubtless to unsettle the quills of heavy hitter liberals. Via Daily Caller According to The Hill, some Republicans now believe that getting everything done on time with a 30-day recess coming up would be almost impossible. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wants a vote on health care reform by July 4, but the fight with Democrats over the bill has left the annual budget resolution, needed for tax reform and appropriations legislation, up in the air. More importantly, if the Senate Republicans pass a 2018 budget resolution, then their health care bill would only require a simple majority vote. If Republicans vote on the budget resolution without their health care bill as part of it, they will need 60 votes to pass the legislation. Alaska Republican Senator Dan Sullivan told The Hill he urged leaders of his conference to cancel the August recess. I think absolutely we should truncate or cancel recess. We have a huge agenda. I think we can do a lot of it done. But what we do not have is time, said Sullivan. We can make more time. God forbid our officials really carry out their employment. Republicans are battling to settle our broken system and all liberals can consider is their opportunity off. Run of the mill. Donald Trump promised to drain the corrupt swamp of Washington. This is recently the sort of corruption he was discussing. Leaders chose to represent our nation are excessively worried about their opportunity off than to complete anything. It requires a considerable amount of push to draft enactment, refine it, and get it voted on. That implies time. However, Democrats would rather disregard the problems that need to be addressed of this nation, than give up their getaways. Why are these individuals in control once more? Why are we enduring their childishness? Ample opportunity has already passed the American individuals expelled these wolves in sheep's clothing and choose genuine leaders to D.C. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. H.T. The Daily Caller The silence is broken. Newt Gingrich makes shocking reveal. He just said three simple words that will end Trump-Russia investigation for good. Newt Gingrich has one justifiable reason motivation behind why you shouldn't put stock in the free Russia investigation. Keep in mind a couple of things, the investigation's head, Robert Mueller, should be nonpartisan. What's more, in fact, when he was first contracted, 
everybody applauded him for being quite recently that. So it's a little odd that his activities are currently indicating support to Democrats. Which might be the reason Gingrich is stating that his investigation is rigged. Via MSN Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, a key ally to President Trump, said this morning, that the ongoing investigation into the Russian interdoling of the election, led by Special Advisor Robert Mueller, is a rigged game for its lack of pro-Trump attorneys on the case. While Gingrich said he would not recommend that Mr. Trump should fire Mueller, he questioned the investigation's impartiality since Mueller has so far hired four Democratic attorneys. He apparently could not find a single pro-Trump attorney to hire, and I just think that's a rigged game, and I think it's a mistake to pretend this is going to be some neutral investigation, Gingrich said. Gingrich is right. Mueller has the ability to enlist his own investigative group. Furthermore, the main individuals he's employing all originate from the Democrats. Newt knows a rodent when he notices one. The most exceedingly awful piece of everything is that it's a change of heart, Gingrich at first had a favorable opinion of Mueller. As did most men and ladies in Congress. It's simply subsequent to watching Mueller's activities that he is starting to have questions. Asked if he thought the attorneys were anti-Trump, Gingrich responded, well all four gave money to the Democrats, and later laughed off a suggestion that they were the best attorneys Mueller could find. You're suggesting that in the whole country there are no Republican attorneys that Mueller could have hired, he added, I do not give the benefit of the doubt to someone who could only hire Democrats but claims we should trust him. Libs in Congress have your run-of-the-mill reaction Dash Gingrich is just trying to sow distrust in the investigation, blah, blah, blah. But Gingrich has a straightforward approach to gauge transparency, and he explained it. Let's just have transparency. Could we have as many pro-Trump lawyers as we have anti-Trump lawyers? Something discloses to me that Mueller wouldn't accept Gingrich's recommendation. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. HTMSN Happening now California's top judge drops shocking order to ICE, you won't believe what she demand. Your normal liberal likes to run his mouth, yet he's presumably not very enthusiastic about actions. Be that as it may, it's the actions liberal that you have to stress over. Those are the ones that will do the most to undermine the law. This case is no exemption. It's a dependable fact that lib governors and sanctuary cities are doing their absolute best to obliterate the rule of law in the Trump organization. Ignoring government law, and imagining they're not infringing upon the law, is making the liberal professions of the greater part of these legislators. In any case, a large portion of them hold back before really pushing back against the president, rather, they simply decline to consent to his requests. Be that as it may. This lady is unique. She's effectively driving ICE out of California courthouses. Also, she's planning to move down her dangers with laws of her own. Via Daily Caller California's top-ranking judicial officer has waded again into a politically fraught debate over the Trump administration's immigration enforcement policy. State Chief Justice Tony Cantalsica, who has previously condemned immigration and customs enforcement operations at court facilities, said Tuesday she has a duty to call out federal agents who arrest illegal immigrants in or near California's courthouses. The lawmakers' remarks came as the California Assembly Legislature took over Senate Bill 54 a proposal that would prohibit the use of state and local public resources to assist federal immigration enforcement. If enacted, the so-called California Values Act would effectively cut off all voluntary cooperation between local law enforcement and ICE, except in cases required by federal law. We should influence it to clear what's being done here. Suppose you're nearby law implementation. There are sure occurrences in which you, lawfully, need to converse with ICE about somebody you've kept, say if your prisoner is influencing dangers about a dread to plot. At that point call ICE. Also, 
country security. However, numerous more aren't as legitimately clear. Trump is asking, and Sessions is demanding, that local cops talk with ICE in those circumstances also. What's more, Tony Cantalsake is stating, no, you may not. Truth be told, we've made a law to keep you from doing that without facing prosecution. To put it plainly, any nearby California law authorization that volunteer information to ICE now confronts imprison time. Furthermore, any ICE specialists that search for unlawful outsiders on California state property? Indeed, they're presently kicked out. The legal agents of the USG would now be able to never again legitimately be on California state property, practicing their obligations. This is liberalism crazy. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. HT The Daily Caller